Well, at least our finances are doing fine whilst we uh, await this. Yeah, fight Kano. Destroy Kano. Bring Nupe into the greater Kinosphere. Bring Kano into the greater Loangosphere. Turn Sunni, absorb, kill everything I see. Jake, will automatic transport work for your vassal stuck? Nah. Also, I don't have any transports. But no, he's just stuck there. He doesn't like his odds at running through these rebellious lands. It's the same problem we had last time. So unless he attaches to me, we're out of luck. And that doesn't seem all that likely. One little no CB against Kano. But, here's another thought. If I just fought Nupe, Strong High would get involved. We beat down Strong High, force him to a null treaty with Kano, eat all of Nupe, and then I could uh, fabricate and take on Kano without having to no CB. I hate to say it, but the uh, peaceful solution is a better one here. As soon as our truce is up with you, we just go on a massive beat down. Again, unfortunately, we'd have this tonking truce with Yeo. I might need to white piece them just so I can single them out. Or, yeah, white piece Yeo. Actually, fighting Nupe is quite an ordeal. Should have never beat these guys out. They, uh, they got too good for their own... For their own good, I suppose. I could make a very temporary alliance with Mossy. They don't like Strong High. They would be more than willing to get involved, maybe. Rivalry. Neutral. Neutral. Yeah, I'd make a very temporary alliance with Mossy. Use them to beat down Strong High. Miltech? No, there's no need. I can hold up to uh, almost 1600 mil power. I'm saving it. Savoring it. <laughs> Jake, I genuinely think the no CB now is a good idea. Well, the thing is, um, Zazao wouldn't join in the war until 1503 anyway, because there's a 10 year cooldown on you calling in your allies to offensive wars to prevent, the, to prevent you from using them as your personal wrecking ball. Personally, I think it's a good change. Gotta get that canal though. Heck, any of them would be fine. Just need to, uh, just need to swallow them up. Happy days. Religiously unified and ready to go rock. <laughs> yeah, I'm a long ways away from being a better government rank myself as well. The homie, what's taking you? Where are all those claims I need? These wars won't start themselves. Keep relations with Zazao super happy in case they start wondering why I don't give them things that they want. It's kind of terrifying. Mali have uh, 17,000 stickmen. Granted, we are quite a bit below our limit, but I like to think our military prowess will be plenty. Tech 7 is no joke getting that extra military tactics. Artillery fire, it's not like I'll be using artillery. Maybe one to help with sieges. Oh, my goodness. Ah. 
<sighs> Just a few more months and then it's time to wage war. May as well tech up now then and get that one piece of artillery that might at some point be useful. And consider how I'm going to... Zazao is requesting that you come to their aid in the Yao Conquest. This isn't what I wanted at all. This is really not what I wanted at all. How could you, man? Hmm. Mossy is already involved. But unless I make the impressive attack on Yeo. Hold on, this could actually work to my benefit. I just need to figure out how. Alright, let me think about this in my head. And on the papers here. We have Stronghai boasting the 10,000. But they're fairly low. Ho! Crivens, Yeo got to tech seven. Yeo, tell me about your fort situation. One fort and one capital fort. Fortunately, I can get to the capital fort without worrying. Right. Also, your numbers, Yeo. Again, frighteningly high. I can't even claim to have an advantage fighting there. My South African warriors, join me in my time of need. We ravage Yeo. And we take Nupe's land. Means we'd have to occupy Nupe as well. We demand Nupe's land from Yeo. And then we get a chance to fight Kano. Songhai... Wow, this kind of relies on us winning this war. Well, I mean, we're going to accept, but... Just a little bit longer and we would have been top of the world. <laughs> Jeez, you can go a whole game without seeing that. Okay, that changes things considerably. Get both of you on form. No, Zazao, you don't want to concentrate on that battle. Uh, my glorious vassal. I need you to stick close, okay? Don't get into any unnecessary uh, risks. Ah, I did it again. Gotta stop accidentally uh, moving everyone together like that. We'll take this, we'll hope that you bugger off out of this. Holy smokes, those enemy forces. And knowing that Yayo is uh, such high tech, hopefully he's coming down to lay the smack down on Zazao. That'll get Zazao out of that province and allow me to take control of the situation. That's what I hope. Truth is, I'm going to let Zazao get smoked here. I'd take a river crossing penalty if I did that, actually. Let's move on in. Hmm? Damn. Didn't realize he'd walk away after that. Oh well. What are you doing, man? Now air is jumping in. I was tempted to say you're on your own with that one, mate. Air, Timbuktu, Messina. Timbuktu's getting involved, air's getting involved. We're talking six and six. <sighs> to me. 
I don't have that many units, but it's enough for me to be concerned. I gotta help them out. Gotta be a bro. Still, I want this province. And thanks to our incredible siege abilities, shouldn't be too hard to get. Oh, rather nice. We have uh, some help as well. The cannon will help out even more. The ultimate siege stack. Reporting for duty. We actually outnumber these guys. But we need you not to lose any uh, forts here if that's within your capabilities. Ugh, disease outbreak is horrible. It gives attrition to your besieging units. Jake, please show diplomatic map mode. Okay, granted, it's a bit spaghetti here. We've got Dahomey, Zazao, and Mossy, and for some reason Oyo on our side against Yao Air, Strong High, and Timbuktu. Uh, essentially, it's Sunnis versus Animists. Uh, but the enemy is considerably better at tech than I had expected. What I need to do is throw Zazao to the horses here. I need to make a rush on Yeo in order to get the war score to demand new pay. That will allow me to fabricate the claims on Kano, and I hope to god Kano don't, um... Jeez. Tragic, but I need my own individual war score for this. Okay. We'll beat down air, though. <laughs> Not one province, I needed two provinces. Two! And now I can't demand provinces from here because they're outside of my coring range. Uh. Yeah, no CB is looking better and better by the day. Jake, what a beautiful sound. Th thanks, buddy. <sighs> there are certain dangers to no see being here. I think I'd rather watch you guys lay the beat down first. I'm not so sure if Timbuktu will actually dedicate the troops to this. They might, but they also might not. The issue here is that Yeo's troops are... Uh, uh, okay, I'm having to dedicate myself to this. Okay, well at least they're song highs. I should be able to beat them down like nothing on earth. Hopefully I don't, you know, murder my king. Come now, Zazao, it's time to uh, go on the offense, maybe? so tempted. I mean, every Sunni around is going to hate my guts, coalition me, and my one ally is getting beaten the heck down. Unless I were to destroy the Yeo troops, who are really quite strong and plentiful. So, oh, I need your backup for this. Don't be a fool. He's just being a big old fool. Yeah. 
Jake, you're already at war with everyone. That means you'll have a truce with practically everyone. Yeah, but I am thinking beyond the truce. I do have the ability to think into the future slightly. What are you doing, Zazao? We need you to fight the Yeos. Hmm. Zazao, at least, are going for Moshi. I will back them up. Just you. Moshi, I'd rather you got in front of me. Not entirely sure if you will. That's gonna hurt my economy, man. May as well pay for this in case they actually make uh, advances towards me. Right, so what are you gonna do? You're gonna run all the way home, homeboy. The trouble is, unless I actually go and lay the smack down on you, you're going to come back stronger and more aggressive. So, as much as I hate that, I will have to go and fight you in your home. This is horrible. Jake, will you reform government? That's the plan. Don't reform government. You don't amount to much, sadly. Alright, without an army, Yeo yeah, will find themselves sorely, uh... Sod it, you have to die. Full cost, 64, you have no allies that will, uh... Really help, and... Yikes, up to 51, and it's gonna be a lot more than that when I vassalize you. What are we looking at? Air, Yeo, yeah, lots of people. Whatever. How badly could it possibly go? Oh, right, they're going to Casina, not Kano. Air does not have access through... Oh, they do have access through Kano. Curses. Oh, well, I guess we'll stand here, form like a protective shield. So now I have to consider who hates my guts. Songhai, Timbuktu, Mosi, Mali. Mali is a concern. Thankfully that's not enough aggressive expansion to make them uh, coalition me. That probably will be. Yeah, Mali is included in that deal. Messina won't mind. Timbuktu almost don't mind, but we're at war. Well, if Zazao win this, at least I'll still have a strong friend. But what I also need is for uh, me to get... Oh, sweet. Free mill. Uh, what am I trying to say? I need to get 25 war score here quickly. Or else they might peace out and then uh, Songhai joins in this war. I know Songhai's troops are made of paper. But, oh, jeez, Timbuktu now. And... Internal conflicts because my unrest is high. Well, dip to the wall. Soon we'll get our ideas on the go anyway. Hmm, I threw the wrong guy out there. Don't want my king dying in battle. Not by a long shot. As soon as this finishes, I'll switch him out. Two stab would be a bit unpalatable right now. GG. Go and live a gluttonous life or something. And seriously, quickly, before Songhai get any ideas. And they'll get ideas. 17, 21, 24. Perfect. Welcome to the world of being my vassal. Well, welcome to the world of being my vassal. Now, Crivens. Dangerous. 
let's just keep that down a little bit. I know it costs a ton of prestige, but we have that by the boatloads, almost. Let us consider the wars right now, then. Still the ones from before. Still this province, it's sunny. Don't want it. Have to core it. Should have lifted that ages ago. How do we go about doing this now? Unfortunately for me, their fort is fully maintained. Let's throw the 1,000 with the 5,000 at it. You folks head there, you go north. You're the four siege guy, get on their capital. Let's see if we can't make something out of this. Because... Yeah, Kano didn't get involved in any of these wars, but it's not beyond the realms of possibility that if we score a good victory here, Zazao will force them to give their la uh, give those cores back. Unfortunately, Yeo is making good uh, good gains around here. <laughs> Fort rules, man. They will find a way. I was actually hoping that this poking would make Yeo get out of that province. But if Yeo lose their capital... It's victory for Tanner. <laughs> Mind you, they're on their way to getting two capitals now. That's one. Now they'll... Let's see, Oyo... Okay, Oyo is no longer costing us here. That's nice. One pro. Oh, nice capital get. Sadly, I can't give these lands over. I wonder what, if anything, they'll demand then. Okay, they really want to nail us in Bornu. All right, King. You get there fast enough to give him a river crossing penalty if that counts as a river, which it does not. Kill him to death, lads. A good start. But like I said, I don't want my King doing all this. Yeah, the thing is, Zazao won't give these provinces to me. No way. He can't. They're outside of my... Oh, actually, they're not outside my coring range. But I don't have a claim or anything, so he's not going to give them to me. Which is regrettable in itself. Okay, really, we have everything here. Do you have a claim on something? That could be the reason that you want... Uh, you don't want things going like that. But on the other side, I don't want to give you, la uh, well, anything, really. Jake, make Yao return course to Kano. Well, that's true, I can get out of this myself. <laughs> You're on your own, Mato. <laughs> I'm out of here. Can't give land to Zazao, unfortunately. And I can't uh, change these to, Zaza uh, to Kano's. Man, you drag me into all these wars. I'm not going to exactly help you out much here. Right, I can take these lands and just sell them to Kano. I'm sure he'd be happy with them. I'm going to be one rather unpopular man in the Sunni, the Sunisphere. But there'll be a nice, big... Um, What's the word? Nice big truce time between me and everyone that might want to come to harm me. Right, let me think about this carefully. Grab everything I can. That's careful thinking. Surely they'd buy all that. Kano, that is. They'd get stronger and more aggressive towards me, but that's okay. I'll just marry them and everything else. Jake, return some provinces to air so they don't coalition you. They're already outraged by me. 
I mean, if I did return that to air, I can't even see how they'd feel, but I can't imagine they'd be thrilled about it. At least this re really reduces the power of some people. Oh, Zizao is going to hate me for separate piecing. Everyone's going to. But I'm going to have a nice strong couple of vassals to help me out. And I'm going to be out of this hellish war. Pashaw is all I can say. Look, I'm helping you indirectly by taking even inflation in your name. Still stuck in this other war, unfortunately. Which means I can't sell these provinces. There you go. I say I never did anything for you. Alright, the issue is now that air is around. Now air. Again, sadly, I can't uh, I can't rip land away from you and give it to my vassal. And I'm not about to vassalize you. Although if I did, no. Can't can't just constantly make the vassal train around here. It will hurt me. Oh, lordy would it hurt me. But what I can do is help my vassal. Uh, pff, getting a bit ahead of myself there. Help my uh, brilliant ally by nabbing your capital with my incredible and totally undeservedly lucky siege general. Jake Mari Kano. Yeah, I need to do that before they turn all sour. Huh! Good heavens, they love me. Of course they love me. Why wouldn't you love me? Still, I need to get them integrated before too long. But they're outside of my coring range for integration as well. Might just take one of these, just so that I have the freedom to do these kinds of things. Can't core those, because they're adjacent places like that, but... It would be useful to have a core here of my own. I really just annex air. I mean, the only people that care are Sunnis. What are they going to do? Fight me and my incredible pagan allies? That's precisely what they could do. Tempted to annex air, actually. And you know what? Probably could. Well, Possibly could. See if this works out. Hold up, I left a little too much. Or rather, I didn't leave enough. Whew, Jake, you can call her Canam. Yeah, but Canam's kind of expensive. I'll give it some thought. Oh, snap! Next up in lists of not great ideas. Splitting up in front of my enemy. Air made peace with Mossi. Air made peace with Mossi. Which means it's become significantly more one sided. Oh, curses. Ah well, didn't need those guys anyway. I think the uh, Zazao forces are dwindling to a degree here. Come now, air. 14%'s a good chance, 21 even better. Yeah, they'll take our province first. Oh, curses. If Zizal make peace, they're going to give back these provinces. Right, they probably won't make peace now. Yeah, heck, I could take some land. Quite a lot of land, actually. I don't think air would be uh, too much of a problem anymore. Ugh, it's all worthless land. No one's going to miss it. And again, so what if air coalitions me? Actually, the fact is they're another independent nation that will be a 
Big old pain in the bum. That seems like a smarter thing to do, but... Heck, I want land. Ah, oh, it's only six aggressive expansion. Only six. I wonder the rest of these guys can even hold out. Okay, well these guys would actually become... Um, yeah, this will actually work out. Potentially. Let's just do it. There are no words. There are just no words. You sold me out, you piece of crap. Alright, you know what? I will keep Kawar for myself as a core. You can have these other crappy provinces. Yeah, we need to get rid of this looming disaster here. War exhaustion will trickle away by itself, though. Lower autonomy, sell the province. I wonder if this still works. Huh, 40 autonomy. And they don't have the autonomy uh, thingamajigger. Hmm, all's well. Well, as long as Zazao survive here, I'm sure they'll be fine. How about that coalition, eh? That's what I thought. We're looking at Yeo Air Songhai, potentially Timbux 2. Let's keep them somewhat happy. Mali, yeah, give or take. But what I really want is my next ad. Well, I want my admin, so that I can get my uh, my ideas going. Yeah, should have played constantly at speed one, right? Those guys no longer worth the money. Sure, it spikes up people's desire to kill me. But that's who? Ashanti! Nice! Happy to see you at no tech at all. Allied only with Mosi. Listen up to homie. Could you, uh, could you forge some claims there, please? Ugh, oh, actually, it doesn't matter. I'll have my own claims on Ashanti soon. Again, it's tempting to ally Mossy just to have a bit of defense against, uh... Oh, shoot, here come the Castilians. I am in, uh... Oh, same... No, no, what tech are they, actually? It's 1507, so they are not at tech 7. They're at tech 8, that's not too shabby. Jake got to run, good luck, oh, thank you. Alright, so Castile may uh, be disgusting like that, but we need to beat them to the Gold Coast. So that is what I think we will be focusing on. Unfortunately, our monetary situation, not so good. So, let's stop paying for this fort that we don't need. Army maintenance is a touch too high. New Pace province would look a lot better as our province. One issue is all this Sunni land, it's going to be revolting. And there's little I can do about those separatists. Alright, well at least the Zazao survived, and now their only real threat is in Songhai. Jake, is that Portugal up there? Wow, Portugal are doing well, but this is good. If Portugal have all this land, it means they're wasting their admin points, coring it, and wasting their military endeavours fighting North Africans that don't go down without a fight. Unfortunately, Castile get all these bonuses to settler chance that they will colonise here rather nicely. I was hoping they'd focus on the New World, but it seems not. Let's get our ideas on the go. We're going to be going exploration. I hate that as much as you, but these lands do need to become ours. 
Gold Coast, really. It's got to be that. Down we go. So that I can get that uh, important natural harbour bonus. Not only that, it's to get my claims on the go. So that, thankfully... No, not Katsina. Although, yeah, I should be using that merchant of mine. I should be using it long ago. We will be using it to transfer trade. Because that'll give us 10% more power on the Ivory Coast. We're actually becoming king of the Ivory Coast here. Glad our capital is in it. And yes, Ashanti, you're going to die. With or without your alliance. Still want to keep Kano pretty sweet as I uh, try to decide what to do with them. Probably shouldn't have taken all that land from Yeo. It would have been better to keep a uh, cause for war against them. But 16 provinces, two of which are Sunni. So that's like 14 uh, pagans. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Get an uprising spread a little bit. Oh, but I'm increasing my number of pagan. Okay, I would need them to spread around here and spread their delicious um, religion. That's actually very dangerous to do. But danger is a very appealing thing, isn't it? Eleven years until I can shift focus, and... Ugh. No end to the pain. It's 80 mil power, but it would cause me a lot less strife. They're gonna have to die. No problem. Jake, the Cape is a must-have before the Iberians go there, and you're close enough. Yeah, the Gold Coast is also a must-have. There's lots of must-haves in this. I also must have one more light ship so that I can go exploring. Get that bark on the go. What else, though? <laughs> Poor Dahomey with his 1,000 men stuck down there. Frustratingly, you allied Mali and Stronghai. But as long as I have a core here, I'll be able to integrate Kano. Can I just get you uprising? I'm not going to pay our missionary, but... Will you still be Nupe? Yeah. Because a big place full of must-haves. It's pretty much my attitude here. Twenty percent on Gold Coast is pretty good. Shame we're not actually getting anywhere with it. And in fact, our money is hurting for all this. Fleet, fort, colony, army. What's a man got to do to make more money around here? Sinians, huh? I should really, really be thinking about truce times, actually. They're not as long as I was wanting. And as long as they have more than 30 aggressive expansion, they can and will join the coalition. So that's Yeo Air and Songhai more or less guaranteed. Timbuktu's relations are high enough that they will not. Mali will not have the aggressive expansion to join in. So that's these three. 
Air would not have been a problem if I was able to take that chomp out of them, but I was one day too late. Which is, uh... Makes me a little sad. Well, I'll tell you what would really help with everything right now. I'll wait till I get that core done, but I really want my stability up a bit. It would be good of me to kill their Katsunian separatists, wouldn't it? I don't wanna. I'm sure they'll be fine on their own. Okay, with that, the price for boosting stability goes down, so let's just get it to plus one. It's a good natural state to be at. Should increase our treasury tenfold. Well, less of a loss is also good. Remove Nupe from the map. Colonize Cape Coast. Is such a thing even possible? What's my bonus? My bonus is yes, please. Thing is, Zazao have the same truce as I do with the rest of these guys. It's better to have Zazao as a friend against all them, as they are going to come knocking. All right, thank you for the colonial enthusiasm. You can have your coast back. It's the gold I want. I'm getting a bit of a malice from this one because it doesn't have an adjacent. Uh, yeah, no adjacent control. It's only minus five though, so that's okay. And the new settler chance is so much better. Excellent. Okay. Musi will not join in. This is a golden opportunity to take you all in the name of Dahomey. I hope they really don't join in. Also, is there a reason that I would want to be at peace right now? <laughs> is there ever, really? Kawari, huh? When separatism goes away, as will that. Nice. Ashanti have rather a lot of troops, but they have absolutely no technology. Don't even know why I'm paying my troops here. Take them out with... Them. Well, no, let's actually pay them for the battle. I owe them that much, at least. Really, though, what is this guy in order to get him Siege 4? Is he one of the Urukai? Like the explodey one? Oh jeez, that's dangerous. I shouldn't have waited on that one. Good mossy dishonor. Check dishonor. And then Ashanti was killed. No forts, no nothing. Nice development though. Just need a thousand there. And the bare minimum here. Timed that so well it hurts. What is with me in Regencies, though? This is why I play Republics and Theocracies. Well, it's one of the many reasons I play them. Make some money for a change. Genuinely torn here. One base tax isn't that much. But I'll take it. <laughs> Village grew so much it forced him out into sea. We heard of these people called the Dutch. They're all about reclaiming the sea. Get to it in the early stages of Gold Coast creation. It'll make things easier. It's probably not what they said, but I'll believe it. Before we absorb you, I'm kind of curious about your culture. Well, it's all accepted by Dahomey. Give it all to me. Yeah, I need the raw ducats, sadly. Jake Free Diplomacy, I should be using that to uh, make sure we don't have future problems with the coalitions. 
Again, Timbuktu is not going to be a problem unless they call uh, they rival me, and I doubt they will. I'm too big and scary. Air is an issue. But I've already improved their relations. Yeo, another big issue. Already improved relations. Now I can do about strong high. Mossy still like me, but Mali, yeah, well. I wish I could know a thing or two about Castile, maybe say nice things to them. How about Portugal? Let's be friends, please don't kill me. At least when I become Sunni, they won't have their own overseas expansion against me. Speaking of, it won't be too long till I can do that. But that's like 11 o'clock, so I'm going to call it there. I think for our first ever shot at Loanga, this is fairly good. So, um, uh, I'm sure you know well enough, when I have a campaign going, streams tend to be regular. I will not have a schedule for now, because pff, consistency is for custard. But uh, thanks for joining for this episode. For now, cheers and cheerio. And we can't see it, but we know it's out there. Just make sure you don't settle for it. <laughs>